Welcome to News 3. I'm Kurt Williams. Topping our headlines, the alarming rise in gun violence has one Portsmouth community on edge. As police try to find the suspect who shot and killed three people Tuesday and sent another to the hospital. It happened at a boarding house on Maple Street. And we're now learning the names of those who die. 37-year-old Olisha Mears, 34-year-old Ashley Merricks, and 30-year-old Giorgio Lee, all shot dead. Police are asking anyone with information about the shooting to call police. Locals and tourists alike witnessed their fan favorite, the spirit of Norfolk, go up in flames. Now we do know 100 people were on board. 89 of those were elementary school students, all got off safely. No injuries were reported. It was just inspected last month and passed. It was also in dry dock for the month of March where it was given a thorough inspection. A spokesperson says that they are looking into moving another of their boats to Norfolk to accommodate summer bookings. Time now for a check on our forecast with meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, we have been seeing some widely scattered showers and storms out there throughout this afternoon and this evening. We are catching a bit of a drier break now, seeing a little bit of sunshine peeking through those clouds. But as we continue to head throughout this evening and into the earlier parts of tonight, could still see a few of those scattered showers popping up here and there. Could be hearing a couple of rumbles of thunder as well. Potentially, as we head within the next hour or two, could be seeing a couple of those becoming a bit stronger too potentially severe. We'll be drying out as we get into tomorrow morning. Maybe a stray shower out there, but those temperatures still very warm in the lower 70s. Tomorrow, another very hot and muggy day, about 90 degrees with a cold front moving through. You could be seeing a couple of storms moving through in the afternoon and evening. Then we cool down into the lower 80s, warming up again next week into the upper 80s, and we are going to be also staying mostly dry.